So if you don't have a permanent address, you don't have an ability to even apply for work or apply for unemployment benefits or apply for any benefits. You have to start with the address. And so we have to keep people safe at home. And how do you keep people safe at home? Well, Hope Program Administrators like Laura Hogshead, well, she says by expanding the eligibility of who gets help with things like rent and utilities. The HOPE program is now accepting applications from the folks who bring home up to 80% of the median income in their county. Now, applicants must rent their place of residence and have lost income or been unemployed due to the pandemic and are now facing financial hardship. It's not one blanket median income for the entire state. Every single county has its own calculation. So this is the government's calculation system. To show you the big difference this expansion makes, let's look at Alamance County. The median income for the county seat is $68,000. When the eligibility was 50%, a family had to make less than $34,000 to qualify. Now with the expansion to 80%, a family can make up to $54,000 to be eligible. And while this program helps more folks pay their bills, the program's administrators say this expansion is really good for more than just the people who are behind on their rent. Landlords are hurting too, right? Whether the income limit of their tenant is 50%, 60% or 80%, landlords have been waiting on checks. So these are more checks that can go to more landlords. And so we hope that that will also help to stabilize families and help to stabilize the economy. To find out if you now qualify, how to look up your county median income, check out the two wants to know section.